Well, it was um, going on throughout the day. Uh, they were calling me a spoiled brat, and I said maybe that's the way I am, and I know you guys hate me, and I like that, so I don't mind um, having a chat on the field, and it worked in my favor, I guess. And uh, I, I like playing against Australia because it's very hard for them to stay calm, and I don't mind an, an argument on the field. It, it really excites me and brings the best out of me, so they don't seem to be learning the lesson. Well, um, before coming here, I, I uh, sort of told myself I'm going to be positive against uh, you know these bowlers in these conditions. Uh, look to dominate because late enough international cricket to start doing the same in test matches as well. There's no good reason why I should change my game too much from one day cricket into test matches. Sometimes we we end up you know thinking too much into test cricket and forget playing our natural game. We saw Jinkia today, I mean, he came out and he crossed me to 100. That was brilliant. I mean, at no point did I tell him to, you know, back off or not play his game. Uh, and uh, that's what, what's working for us as a batting unit. Um, you know, that intent, that positivity, that, that um, you know, the thinking of taking on the bowler is, is, is something which is very important. And, um, you know, that's what I thought before coming to Australia, that I'm going to back myself. And standing outside the crease, yeah, it's... it's uh, you know, it's, it's evident in international cricket, most of the bowlers bowl on that fourth stump line and on a good length spot. So, I mean, I'm, I'm confident enough, I'm not, I'm not worried about the pace and bounce. Uh, I can stand in front of the crease, uh, you know, try not, not to let the bowler bowl at the same spot too much because that's, that's called the good length spot. If you disrupt that, the bowler has to then think about other things, which is, you know, what you want as a batsman. I just backed myself. There was, I mean, you know, there he was batting. There's no pressure on him as a batsman. I mean, that's not his job. Uh, his job is to bowl and get wickets. And he was going at 4.7 and over today. Um, didn't get a wicket throughout the day. And uh, I knew, uh, you know, I, I backed myself that I can take him on even if I keep talking to him. I mean, that's important. You can't then b back off, you know, after saying a few words and then not show it with, with your skill. Um, so I decided, I mean, whenever he comes on to bowl, I'm going to, um, you know, back myself and take him on as well and I don't mind uh, giving a word back um, uh, neither does he so kept going on which is fine I guess well it's it's very important to um, you know I was I know I was criticized of not getting big hundreds uh, you guys might think I don't know that but uh, <laughs> I know that for a fact so I mean I knew myself it's disappointing to get out on 115 120 when you've done all the hard work so you know, those are the times when I told myself to take more time, just just see it through with singles and the odd boundary in between. So uh, today I got a good feel of of you know building up big hundreds. So did Jinx, which is which is great for the team. Uh, if we get big partnerships, uh, we give ourselves more chances of of being in the game. Uh, you know, wherever we play. So I think it's all about correcting your mistakes and try to learn from every innings that you play. Be it a hundred as well. Next time, if I'm in a situation again, I would want to convert it into a double hundred. So, you know, that's how you keep learning, keep improving your game. And um, today was a learning for me, uh, how to how to build a beginnings. And you know, that I'll, I'll I'll try and store in my head and try to repeat that again when I when I go out to play. Not really. I mean, um, you can't really do that in Test cricket because you don't know how long you're going to bat for. So, you know, instinctively, I was I was being positive from ball one. Uh, milestones really uh, were not the c criteria for me. When you get close to them, obviously you want to get past them. But um, yeah, I mean, more or less we, we speak about you know five or seven run targets when we build a big partnership. For example, if you're at 240, you want to go to 245. From there, 250. So that's that's when you're you're not focusing on your personal score. You're doing it for the team. Uh, you're chasing small targets out there in the middle during a partnership. So I mean, those are those sort of things help, but. I, I don't think in a test match, unless you're chasing, uh, in the fourth innings, you can really break down your innings properly. You just got to bat, um, you know, the way the ball is coming to you and, and uh, play on the merit of the ball. Yeah, um, that was the that was the idea. I mean, as I said, uh, that, that good length spot is uh, on the fourth stump, uh, you know, just, just back of length. So, um, it's, it's mostly to cover that, um, you know, when you play with your bat more um, and, you know, not let the bowler see those stumps and uh, you know the ball going close past the stumps and if you drive a few on the rise then the bowler really doesn't know um, you know what length to bowl which is as I said as a batsman you want uh, to do out there so 
Yeah, it's, it's worked for me till now. I mean, um, feeling really good, really comfortable with with what I'm doing in my batting, and um, yeah, it's 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 a new thing that I tried, and it's come off, so uh, it does feel nice. I think it's very important how you react to situations. If I if I have a go at someone and I feel I don't want to get out now, that's wrong on my part. Um, you know, me talking to someone doesn't change anything when I have the bat in hand. He's still bowling a ball. I'm still holding a bat, which is how you play cricket. I mean, if you have a verbal chat or not. So uh, that didn't play my, on my mind at all. Um, I was really annoyed with him hitting me with the ball, and uh, I told him that's not on. Uh, you know, try and hit the stumps next time, not my body. So um, yeah, I mean, you you got to send the right message across. Uh, not I'm not going out there to take unnecessary. Uh, words or uh, you know chat from someone. I'm going out there to play cricket back myself, and there's no good reason I should respect someone unnecessarily if, if they are not. So, um, as I said, I was confident of my batting and that I can go through that phase. And Jinx helped as well from the other end, to be honest, because he he kept taking him on and didn't let him settle, didn't let him get into a rhythm, which was very important for us with the new ball, especially. So. Um, you know that's how you play uh, test cricket. Uh, that's that's where your partner helps you, and vice versa. If he's in a spot of bother, you know I keep taking the bowler on. He's never settled, so it was good to bat out there with Jinx today, and I'm glad uh, you know he kept he kept taking on the bowlers uh, when when I had a chat with them. No, I'm I'm hearing that from you. I really don't read articles as such, especially on tour. <laughs> um, heard that from you. I mean, good for them. Um, some words coming out of the mouth. I mean, they have the right to talk, I guess, because they're two nil up as of now. So, um, would have been exciting to see if it was one all and uh, the same sort of sentences or words coming through from them. But I wasn't aware of that. Um, see, as as it's funny in cricket when you're on top, uh, you know, you can sort of say anything you want. It's when uh, you know the chips are down, you got to stand up. Um, and say what you have to say and then go out there and prove it. When we played in India, there were not so many words coming back from them, which was very surprising. We are 2 nil down here, we still took them on today and showed what we can do with the bat, uh, you know, which is the character of this Indian team. I respect quite a few of them, but someone who doesn't respect me, I've got no reason to respect him. Um, there were words in Adelaide as well, uh, where they said no unnecessary respect for him, I said I don't need it. I'm out here to play cricket, not to earn anyone's respect. As long as I'm scoring runs, I'm happy with it. If you like it, you know, good. If you don't, I'm not bothered. Um, I don't really care what they think, uh, you know, as far as respecting me or me respecting them is concerned. I've got a, I've got a nice, um, um, you know, sort of friendship with a few of them. Um, they're friendly chats, but someone who's not backing off, someone who's saying anything that comes to mouth, I've got no reason to respect it. Well, um, you know, at that point of time, I was actually a little surprised by the way Jinx started going after him, clearing his leg, because uh, you know he's, he's he's known to be a compact player, and I didn't know that you know he's he's gonna go after him uh, in in a very surprising way. But it was pleasing to watch, you know, a guy backing himself, uh, playing for the first time in Australia, taking a bowler on, you know, who's 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 looking to get into rhythm who bowls long spells for them and bowls quick, bowls good bouncers. So it was lovely to see, uh, you know, Jinx taking him on. Well, you always have a few who can't keep calm <laughs> in every team. <laughs> so I have my targets. <laughs>